Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. Another exciting episode of it, too, I might add, because I said everything out of order just now. Whatever. It's fine. We are in the middle of the power plant and taking down Team Flary Bop here. Hey, what's up, Flary Bop? Yeah, we're good. Okay, well, enough taunting. Uh, let's talk Team Dynamics as it were. So the big question on everyone's mind is whether or not we should swap Lucasander, who's a perfectly awesome Pokemon, out for the newly caught Trapinch in the box so that we might have a Flygon at some point. And the reason being that at Rock and Ice, Lucasander has one of the highest amount of weaknesses in the entire game. And also, we already have another Ice-type Pokemon. Now, here's where the issues come up, of course. Is that, one, uh, new team, newly accepted team leader, Goiron, here, is like total besties with Lucasander. We've talked before about how... Goyvern has like would occasionally ride around on Lucasander. That's very adorable. So there's that to consider. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I saw, that's the thing. Personality-wise, Lucasander very good. Also, I think only about five levels away from evolving himself. So we have that to consider as well. Um, unrelated, but other team update. We know that Juge Forever was rather unmotivated, but I have to tell you that one, since the death of Axe, two, since getting Bulldoze, and three, since evolving into the Go-Goat, Juge has very much turned it around. And, uh, since evolving herself, Chloeo, I think has like noticed the complete turnaround in Juge and seen like the, the powerhouse. And I think because, now you'd think Chloeo would be very like, I'm so much better than you. I am a fire type. You are a lowly glass type. Gra glass type. Boy, that's the type Pokemon's missing. Glass. Um, you'd think maybe Chloeo would see herself as a little, we all know Chloe is a little like proud and such, but in fact, I think it's because of the bulldoze, at least, she recognizes Juge as something of a, as a, as a real powerhouse and appreciates the turnaround. So those two have actually, it's, I've noticed it. I've noticed Chloeo respecting Juge and Juge, I think, like, also uh, returning the respect just because um, he recognizes the power of Chloeo as well so there you go goat and lion best of friends on the way maybe we'll see how it goes out and then there's xyla who i i mean great great lapras but haven't seen much in battle lowest level on the team we're gonna throw her out in front see what happens Woohoo! all right moving on to this base we got people to kill or not kill you know what i mean defeat in battle mm-hmm you were challenged by Team Flagrant. Lipod. Mm -hmm. You got nothing weird, ugly cat thing. We have a way better cat than you. Maybe even, do we have, yeah, we have two better cats than you. That's how much awesomer we are. Parish song? No. We're gonna get, mmm, the body slam might be good. I bet it uses fake out either way. Watch this. Ice beam. Yep. Told you. Fake out. Every time with these things. Oh, I for I super forgot that we had the Rocky Helmet on Xylia and that Lipar took more damage than we did for that fake out. That's hilarious. Assurance. Mm -hmm. Let me assure you, Lipard, that you're about to be frozen solid. Mm-hmm. Yes, that is what I like to see. Ice beam. Ba-boom. Swalot. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm going to go Body Slam on this thing, because I think it, it looks like the kind of Pokemon that would have higher special defense than physical defense. Oh, we're faster! And we would like to paralyze it. That'd be good. Hmm. Well, we did paralyze it. Well, let's test it out now. We can see how much damage that did. Maybe Surf is even better? Whoosh. Hmm, yes. Surf was better. Encore? I'd be happy. I'd be happy to throw another surf at you, friend. If that's what you want, your wish is my command. Now you're dead, and Xylia is amazing. 
There we go. Special attack through the roof, apparently. That's what's up. I only succeeded in hurting my Pokemon. No, I, I succeeded in that. You did, didn't do anything at all. Terrible. Well, you did hit the Rocky Helmet, so that was you hurting your Pokemon. I will, I will not deny you the, the, the self-blame. You are not a good trainer. You will not get past me. My pride is enough to keep you at bay. Your pride? Do you have like a couple of lions or something? Or do you, do you mean like your your genuine pride? Oh, Krogok. So this is like one of those weird situations where I'm like, fighting I think is good against ice, but I don't know if being part water also then sort of the, the evens it out some. I, it was just, uh, uh, we're going to find out. Ice beam. He's going to be like, cross shop, you're dead. That would answer some questions for me. Oh! That was amazing. Or we're just faster. Oh, no. Our true worst enemy, Scraggles. We all know the power of the Scrags. All right. I believe we all know that we have to go into Juge for this. Get out there, Juge. I think I should need this new mug I got from Disney World. It's got Hipster Mickey on it. It's my new favorite mug because it's the one that has coffee in it, but also might actually be my favorite mug. All right, here we go. Seed bomb. Ba -ba -ba Boom. Brick break. Uh oh, let's see how we're going to do. Champion level moves. Juge. Juge, I'm glad we stuck it out with you, man. There was a time where I was like, dude, this goat, he's killing me. But now look at him, he's got giant antlers and stuff. Another lie pod. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Here, this is exactly what I'm going to do is switch to Xylia, because I'm sure the lie pod is going to use fake out again, and we'll just rocky helmet it. And uh, that's how that's going to go. Oh, Hone Claws, now you're even more accurate? <gasps> okay, anyway, Ice Beam, though. How about that? Oh, you know what? If we don't kill it, it there is a chance that it's fairly strong, I guess, with double attack boost? Not nothing, although I still think Ice Beam is just gonna... I'm not that concerned. Excuse me. Torment? I don't even know what that does. I know that it's dead though. It's not taunt, right? Taunt is the one that makes you attack, so. Level! Just like that. Xylia! Doing it! Doing work! Do, 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 do. Losing to you doesn't mean anything. My pride remains unscathed. I don't know if you understand how pride works. Or maybe you really do, because. Um. Boy, some people who are really prideful. Nothing can deter them, despite obvious losses. The reasons to be deterred. You guys watching The Bachelorette right now? Who? Luke, Luke on that show? Luke P, I want to say? Boy, that guy. Exactly. Situation there. Despite obvious reasons to be losing confidence, he's not. Anyway, that's not relevant at the moment. These guys look like they might be somewhat stronger. I don't know if we should, is there any healing? We may as well do, right? Especially if we're the Jugester, just cause you've taken a, a wee bit of damage there. Mm hmm okay, that looks. I'm gonna, just cause we're leading with you, I'm gonna boost you up some there, okay. All right, here we go. Possible admin battles, possible tough battles then in that case. How much longer? If you're just interested in the facts, I'd say we already have enough energy. The power, the device. Good. Let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. What other work do you mean? <gasps> oh, perhaps you've been taking out that annoying little Pokemon trainer over there. Mm -hmm. What's this? I didn't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. All right, whatever. We're all really impressed. Wow. Wow. Look at your outfit. That is a choice. Mm-hmm. Also a choice is this surf. Oh, 
Motor Sleuth. See, this is like, I know we should be weak. Like, should I be afraid of the fire? Is what I'm, oh, come on. The crit and everything. Air surf. We're gonna find out that's not gonna kill me. If that kills me, I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> okay. Oh, the Rocky Helmet. Kaboom. Also worth noting, Xylia not weak to fire. There, we saw it. The water obviously balanced it out. <clears throat> Easy win. We did it. We did it. What about you? You got anything for me? Lady holding her glasses onto her head because apparently her ears can't do the job. <laughs> it would be my pleasure. Come on, little trainer. Let's see what you've got. Is she having to hold the glasses up, though? Wait, can I? What? What's the problem? Mine. Uh huh. Yeah, I was ready to fight. Why did you? You were gonna let me leave? You are challenged by Team Flair, Aliana. Mighty Anna. Okay, if you say so. Lone Pokemon out there. Mm -hmm. Oh, 38. Holy butts. Okay, so it is strong. There is that. We could Parish Song it, switch out, and there's nothing she can do about it because uh, we're going to do that. I think that's funny. Oh, no. A swagger. Hmm. What a weird move to put on a Pokemon that also lowers the attack of your opponent, though. Do it. Parish Song. Oh, that would have been so fun. All right. Anyway. Let's do this. Switch to big. The big fats. If he uses pursuit. Okay. See, that would have been smart because it would be pretty common to switch after confusion. But whatever. Mm hmm. Leftovers. Boom. All right. Feeling good about this one. Good job, fats. Way to take that hit. Ooh, we should do a power-up punch because he's weak to it. Oh, no. Well, if we can break the confusion, though, we'll have a plus three attack. Oh, come on. Hit him. Hit him. Power-up punch. Kaboom. Oh, my gosh. The effectiveness. Through the roof. Mm-hmm. So, really, the game is over if we can just hit him with something. The problem is if he hits us with something surprise if he hits us with something surprisingly strong and then we also hit ourselves with a confusion, our confusion would be really powerful at this point because we have the plus 2 from swagger and plus 1 from power up punch. Mm. I don't I don't think he could possibly knock us out though. Famous last words though. Mhm. Mm you know what I'm saying? Body slam. Here we go. Game sweat match. Oh, you can't confuse Fatterhorn. What? Boom, you're dead. Yes. Well done. Dynamic duo, Fatterhorn and Xylia. You did it. 5,000 in the bank. Not that I ever even look at the money, whatever. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. I do hope we can meet again. All right. Now who's going to come be like, you did it, Jay. Oh, it's these morons. Oh, you're the worst. I don't like you. Oh, my. Look at us. We've got masks on. Yeah. You chased off that mysterious bunch before we could even get here? Hmm. Well, I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Let me hear your Pokemon. Thank you, actually. Mm hmm What's this? Full restores. That's awesome. Thank you. Okay. Mm-hmm. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Bye-bye now. See ya. See you later. Goodbye. Boy, that is from the ending of Toy Story 2, when Barbie is like, ha my cheeks hurt from smiling so much. But I feel like I quote that bye-bye, like, every week at least once bye bye bye, -bye now we'll see you later all right uh, anyway wait what's over here free stuff no oh, wait oh flame charge what that's cool glad we came in here 
Mm -hmm. A magnet? People got all sorts of stuff in here. Power of electric type moves. I guess too bad we don't have any electric type Pokemon. Um, yeah. Oh. Dude, if I could buy them like if I could just select how many I wanted in total, you'd have some money. A zap plate. Also to boost the power of electric type moves, right? So Boy, this place was a gold mine of stuff, anyway. Almost none of it. Well, the question I guess is whether or not flame charge is worth it. So let's find out if Whoop, there it is. 50 and 100. I don't think that's actually better than um, Fire Fang, which is 65, 95. Yeah, so it's not. That's a bummer. It raises our speed, but already pretty fast anyway. Yes. Did not learn Flame Charge. Oh, well. Oh, well. There we go. All right. So we're back on Route 13. We're heading to, I guess, Lumio City now. Ooh, what's that item? What's that item, though? Oh, wow. Well, that was stupid. Don't you dare. There we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't hit me. Go away from me, Pokemon. I don't want to. I don't, don't want to. No. Ugh. You can't walk in that direction, apparently. Hmm. Oh, a dog tree. Oh, man. Wait, 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 wait. Can we run? This is like one of those, like, does it have shadow? I think it has shadow tag. We're just going to surf it, and it's going to die, and that'll be the end of it. I don't think we could run now, either. It's like we're double trapped by shadow tag and... Or arena trap, or whatever dog tree has, but whatever. We're not trapped because Xylea destroyed it. Boom. Run against the wind. Run against the wind. No. It's coming for us. Yeah. Great. Great. Oh, it's a guy bolt. Oh. 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 Okay. Food for thought. Had the thing we caught been a guy bolt instead of a trappage, I wouldn't even be thinking about it. It would just absolutely be happening. Even though it's the exact same, it's not the same. It's ground dragon. Typing wise, it's the same, but um, Garchomp is just one of my favorite Pokemon. And that's how things go sometimes. Doesn't look like we're gonna get a Garchomp. We've had both Garchomp and Flygon in the past. That's the other thing. Oh my gosh. I just wanna know what that item is. Here we go. Come on, Xylia. Knock it down. Surf. Bulldoze. Oh, it did nothing. Mm-hmm. There we go. And destroyed. There we are. There we are. Kaboom. Level 34. Just like that. Equal level as everybody else. Way to go. See? Proving her worth. On the team. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Now this item had so totally better be worth it. Oh my gosh. Do I have to have a freaking rock smash to get to it too? Uh, I don't even care. I don't care. We're just finding the exit. Yeah. The folks at the Kalos Power Plant on vacation or something? I don't know. Oh, who is this giant? Do I have to fight you? I don't think so. Hey, what's up, dude? You're tall. The Pokemon. The, the flower Pokemon. That Pokemon was re given eternal life. All right. Cool. See ya. No concern for your story. You walk fast. Apparently, you're gone altogether. What's over here? What's over here? Oh, my gosh. Rock smashes Glorington. Uh what about you? Free stuff? Nope. What about you? Okay. Boop-a-doop. Yeah. 
And we're back to Lumio City. So, oh, big jet. Oh, God, wait, do I have to fight you? What's happening? I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. <laughs> you know what? I heard the power's back on here in Lumio City. Some really, oh, wait, this isn't, is this your voice? Did you have the really deep one? No, some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Kalos power plant. Somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? Uh, obviously it was me. What? No way, Big J. Okay. Look, it's the, uh, not the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> it is the Eiffel Tower. More or less. Pokemon's version of it. We're in Paris. Yay, Magenta Plaza. Ooh, let's heal our Pokemon before we go do this other nonsense. Do, 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 do. Mm-hmm. Zip, zap, doop, bop, boom, bang. Beep, bop, boo, ba, doo. Thanks for waiting. What about you? Free stuff? Free stuff? Uh-huh, I've heard of Team Plasma. Took care of them myself. Wait. Wait a second. Were you talking about... Gary? The famous Professor Oak's grandson came here to the Kalos region to study abroad. He got bonjour down just fine, but he still always said, Smell you later! Alright. Well. It's cool to know that Gary's somewhere in the region. Or as we called him, Peaches. Oh boy. Light in the tower. What's up? Good timing, they're just about to turn on the lights. Oh, uh, look, it's Clement. He's Lemio City's gym leader. He's also good at inventing things. He makes all kinds of devices. All right. Are you done yet? Not quite. All right. Challenger, sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Clement. All right, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. The prism tower, lightning system activate. Ooh. Boy. You'd almost think that being like the center of the entire region, this gym would be like the eighth gym. But it's not. Oh well. My prism tower lighting system worked. Am I saying lightning or lighting? Lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all my adventures. <laughs> yeah, right, what Oh man. I like her, his little sister. <laughs> yeah, alright, whatever. <laughs> You're not that great. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good luck at the gym. Thanks. So, the basic strategy for this gym is to send out Jude and bulldoze everybody. But, the problem is... Pokemon known as Emolga, which <clears throat> is kind of our worst nightmare because one, can't be hit by bulldoze, and two, can hit us with things like Aerial Ace, and three, in the meantime, is going to do annoying things like uh, Double Team, and yeah, they're very annoying. So, to that end, we will be needing one Luke Azander to ancient power it in its dumb face although i suppose it is possible maybe that we have other rock type attacks in here we do have rock tomb really still only learnable by lucasander and fatterhorn though no one if i want to switch up fatterhorn's attacks Rock. Oh, look, everyone can learn Rock Smash. Hooray! Mm hmm. The other fun thing we could do is Parish Song it. I don't think that would be worth it, though, because we have electric. Have to deal with the electricity there. Um, not a super duper concern either way. I mean, I, it's all down to Luke and really. And I don't know when, when it's going to appear or if it's. I mean, if I knew it was Clement's first Pokemon. I would just send out Lucasander first, but I don't think that's the case. Either way, the rest of the gym, anyone not using an Emolga is about to get juged hard. That's what's gonna happen. What's up? Here we go. Ba boom. We are riding up. Oh, it's a quiz show. Yay. All right. 
Ah, oh, you're that trainer from before. Come straight for a battle, have you? Well, good, ma. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Uh-huh. So, I think I want to try and intentionally get them wrong, just so I can fight the trainers. Who's that Pokemon? Oh my god, it looks exactly like... Oh, I didn't actually see um, what the answer is. I'm just going to talk to you. Yep, it's a Molga. It's not, it's Pikachu. Oh man, now we have to fight. Pachirisu. Oh, I should have brought some paralyzed heals. He's going to be like, nuzzle. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, bulldoze. And that's going to be the end of this fight. Maybe we'll actually be faster. We're not. Pachirisu is so quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But also, how about bulldoze? Oh, but we lowered the speed, so that's fun. And then now maybe we'll just go first. And indeed, we do bulldoze for the victory. Kaboom. Dead. Ha. Hey, Juge. Take that, schoolboy Arno. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a weird name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a Molga. That's okay. We're not really looking for them. We're not really trying to get the answers right. Dead Den is your answer? It sure isn't. But I want to fight you. <laughs> It'd be funny if he had a Den Den. But he doesn't. A Stun Fisk? Alright. If you say so, bro. Didn't even know Stun Fisk was an electric type, but I think. Can we... Seed Bomb you? Will that be super effective because you're part ground type also? It is. Discharge. This should do very little. Yeah. Indeed. Well done, Juge. You've handled the situation perfectly. Ah. Got things I can do. Oh, we lived it. Not bad. Uh, but still dead. There you go. All right. We did it. Boom. Yeah, Juge. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo. Step in the elevator. You're still wrong. No, 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 no. Uh, it's too bad, so sad. That was obviously the wrong answer. Yes, obviously. You've chosen Pikachu? That's right. Man. Been much nicer if we could have fought just one dude with all three of these guys. Would have been easier. Would have been easier. Went faster. Bulldoze! Charge beam. Oh boy. That looks so tiny and pathetic coming from that den den. Mm hmm. Speed lowers. I like that because then I feel like we do get to go. It's like our little ace up our sleeve. Like, oh, ha, we're going to get to go twice now. Boom, dead. Ha! Juge! Yes! Schoolboy Finian. What fun names they had. Were they Sherlock and Finium and Arno? Finian. Phineas? Uh, never mind. Du, 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 Correct. All right, we did it. And we're going up. Mm hmm. You're so clever. You recognize the most recognizable Pokemon ever. Oh my goodness, you're so smart. Very good. All right, quiz time. That looks like a Fletchling. It looks like a Tom John is what it looks like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Definitely a Pidgey. Definitely a Pidgey. For sure. Yes. I definitely know that it's a Pidgey. It's not. It's not. A Magneton. Oh, boy. Juge is ready to destroy you, aren't we? Bulldoze. Do it, Juge. Bulldoze him into the next world. 
Yeah, just like that. Opposing Magnetom fainted. We did it. Boy, the more Magnetons we can fight, the better, I think. Man, I wish they would just tell you that it wasn't right instead of making you go in the elevator. Like, you already know. You already know. Mm-hmm. Great. I don't even remember what they said. Halo? Okay, it wasn't a Halo. So, here we go. Rising Star Helene Manectric. Juj! Make short work of this dumb electric dog thing. Quick attack. It won't matter. Well, it will matter because they can probably use quick attack to still go first. Speed lower. Boom. Juge for the kill. Ready? Ready? Do it, Juge. Do it. They did. That's what's up. The unstoppable go goat. That is Juge. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know it's not right. Ugh. Uh -huh. Mwah. 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 No. -uh. What anticlimactic music just bram 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 bram. It's a fun sound. Alright, bird Pokemon. Hmm. Yeah, uh, yes, I do think it's Fletching. Fletchling? Yeah. We have a very strong fledgling somewhere back at the uh, back at the daycare center at this point, right? But for a second, I thought that Raichu was shiny. How great would that be if every now and then, like one random uh, computer opponent in the game just has a shiny, just unexplained? That'd be really funny. If it, like if it was just her, for some reason she has a shiny Raichu, not a significant character at all. Just like what? Mm-hmm. Speed. And... Whoa! Still faster than us. Don't be paralyzed. Okay, good. And dead. Make short work of this gym. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we got the level. Way to go, Juge. Getting up there. We've gone for some unmotivated little goat to one of the top performers on the entire team. They grow up so fast. They grow up so fast. Yay. All right, so let's hold on a second here. All right, if you're thinking about how this gym must be laid out, they must literally, you must walk in, take an elevator, and then you have the three quizzes over here so he built three elevator shafts but you only go up one and then you're basically like stair stepping across the inside of this building right you keep going to the back of the room and riding that elevator up and then it must be even be off center because like we're in the middle of this room but we rode up elevator one so it's almost like you went up over up over like boy that's a lot of money just to have a quiz show that's actually really easy Oh, no, go away. Oh, boy. Oh, this one's actually tricky. I'm pretty sure that's semi poor. Mm, or pan poor, but whatever. All right. I think this is where we're going to leave it for today, though. I have to head out to the actual real world gym that I go to. And also, we've been going for almost 40 minutes. So, at the beginning of the next episode, gym battle. We are going to take down our next gym. It's going to be awesome. Uh, hopefully, Juge can handle the Emolga that are to come. We shall find out. But until next time, thanks so much for watch watching. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until then, bye!